never before has anyone heard from Tickleman in regards to her perspective on what happened that night. Tonight, you will hear from her about the night she killed former Google executive Forrest Hayes. When he fell um, unconscious, I did try to revive him um, to no avail. Nearly five years after Alex Tickleman was convicted of a crime that sounds like the plot of a Hollywood movie, she's finally speaking out. That was my second time meeting Forrest Hayes. Hayes was a 51-year-old millionaire Google executive. He was married with five children. On November 23, 2013, he invited Tickleman on his yacht, The Escape, parked in the Santa Cruz Harbor. When I first got to the boat, he gave me Valium and we sat down and, you know, didn't even have a full glass of wine and ate some food. He was very adamant about doing the drugs. Tickleman brought heroin at Hayes' request. Despite what police say, we never had sex. Um, he wasn't interested in that. He was more interested in partying. That party included Valium, alcohol, and eventually heroin. He seemed perfectly sober to me. Um, if I had known both of those pieces of information that I know now, I would have never let him take the drugs. Hayes lost consciousness moments after Tickleman injected him with the drug. It just looked like he had passed out. Um, I know that in the past I've done drugs and passed out and not woken up till 24 hours later. And so I figured it was something like that, which was wishful thinking. Tickleman says a coroner determined Hayes died almost instantly. Police say, according to the surveillance video from the boat, Tickleman sipped wine, grabbed her purse, and calmly left the yacht as Hayes was dying. That's not the case at all. I was like, I was in a complete panic. I just wanted to make it look like no one had been there so that I didn't get him in trouble with his wife or the police or his workplace. So Tickleman drove home to Northern California. As I was driving home, I stopped the car multiple times and I was just agonizing over calling 911. But she never called. Now, after a conviction and a three-year prison sentence, Tickleman says she now feels remorse. I wish I could go back and change what happened, but um, I can't, and that's something that I have to live with and something that his family has to live with. Now, as we mentioned before, after Tickleman served her sentence, she was deported to Canada. Dan Aaron, that's where she says she's currently living, quote, a clean and sober life. All right. Interesting. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. If you want to watch the full interview with Alex Tickleman, where she also talks about the moment she knew she was going to jail, we have posted it on our website, ksbw.com. You can also download the KSBW News app and watch it right from your smartphone.